And we're back with another Starbase summary, September 25th through the 28th. Starting it off with this hyperactive excavator with a claw bucket on it. It's like they are uh, excavating some flame trench for Pad B or ex excavating a hole. But I think that's a star or a planet in the background. That's the time of this time lapse here. You can see it's sort of moving through the sky. Oh, no, wait for a dump truck to come. Remember, if you don't want to listen to me, you can always change the audio track and just go for the ambient audio and the other audio track. But there is the HOS Ridgewind. You can see the blue tarp on the back bringing remains brought up from the bottom of the gulf of the booster. We saw SpaceX tweeting some, uh, or I guess it was Elon specifically that tweeted it at first, tweeting out some shots of equipment, or I guess remains of equipment, coming up from the bottom of the gulf. And Jack and Mary and the crew all rolled out there to get shots of it coming in. This is going to be on the jetties out on the Boca side. So this is the southern end uh, it's actually the northern end of the Boca side. The southern end of South Padre would be on the other side. Got some gratuitous up-close drone footage here. Everything's still covered in the tarp there. There were a couple things that were in the open. It looks like, if, based on some of the pictures, they may have cut these up as well to make them sit or fit on the deck better. Because it was like almost 270 degrees of ring around the back that we saw in those pictures from SpaceX, but here it looks like you have sort of a rainbow like a, like 180 degrees. So maybe did some pre-processing on the deck, just chopping it up into slightly smaller pieces so they could transport it uh, more easily, more safely, etc, etc. Of course, we saw it uh, hanging out in the booster splashdown area, and then it went all the way to Mexico and then came back in again. It was been going in and out of that Mexican port. Why is there a raccoon on the jetties? Now, see, raccoons sometimes climb on our towers. I'll get uh, alerts, motion alerts, for our site security, and every now and then we'll get raccoons. I don't know that these are the same raccoons. There are not a lot of them out there, but on that SpaceX side, I do believe that raccoons have been attracted to the area by all of the trash that's left on the beach, and then they end up around our sites. But anyways, luckily today they were cleaning up some of that trash. But here's the rocket garden. Shots from Mary over here. Looks like we may have a crane moving some ballast around those huge uh, steel plates. Work on the... T what are they doing? Is this decorative? Is this like an insulation thing to try and cool it down some? Refract, reflect, stop some of the heat? This would be the westward setting sun. This side would be uh, shining on the westward side. The sun's go going down, right? I don't know. So the scaffolding here is interesting around Ship 31. It, it, this is... They're actually taking it down. And we double-checked the clips. Actually, Thomas left me a note on this. We double-checked the clips, and these clips are in the correct order, but now they seem to be putting it back up again. So we saw him taking some pieces off and then putting some pieces back on. Uh, was it installed incorrectly or something like that? They need to flip something around. Maybe that's what was going on there. But continuing work for the long haul when the uh, scaffolding's going around the ship there. There's the launch site. You've got the full stack in the background and the SpaceX logo in the foreground. I, I didn't need to say that out loud. You know, it's right there. You can see on the screen. The reflecting pool looks like it is extra full. And you've got the two towers. And there's that excavator going. <laughs> it's more excavator action in the lower right. Back over to Star Hopper. We still haven't seen them going after it with reckless abandon, it looks like they're being quite careful and meticulous. I mean, look, they're like, they're like scraping it right now. So does this bode well for the future of Starhopper? That's a good question. You'd think that they'd just take a bulldozer to it in a cutting torch, like we've seen them do with the uh, vertical tanks. But they are being very careful with Hopper. So hopefully that uh, means they want to keep it around. Dare I say it? Should I say, what am I going to say? If I don't say it, what, what would I say concerning what's happening to the OLM here? <laughs> Work continues. Now here's back over at the port, Haas Ridgewind 
Haas, HOS. Anyways, uh, you can see them unloading that huge piece of the aft end of uh, Booster 11. This was off in the distance. It's sort of in the, the secluded port area, so you can't really get very close to it. But Jack went out there. I, I'm going to guess that Jack was up on the roof of the Land Rover or something like that to get just up above the scrub so he could get these shots of that massive crane unloading that uh, debris. Is it debris? It was a couple big pieces. But here's more reinforcements being added. This was on Tower 2, it said. So we're getting into some of these stitching like we've seen on uh, the chopsticks. Is this from the... F this has to be from the flyover. You know, I'm going to say that uh, I'm pretty sure that Jack and Mary went flying and had a ton of footage from that. So that, yes, okay, this is definitely the flyover. For a second there, I was like, drone? No, too close to Massey's. But uh, from this altitude, you can see this is flyover, let's say, teasers. They're going to be doing a lot of in-depth analysis of the flyover shots in the Starbase update. So we don't go out there all the time. We don't fly like multiple times a week or anything like that. But we do go up and we get shots on occasion so that we can use them in some of our analysis, some of the historical shots that we put together, etc., etc. But there's the full stack. Everybody loves a full stack. The clouds sort of worked out for them. You can see a couple puffy clouds there, but uh, you can fly around them so you get your shots. There's the whole area of the two towers. And that tank farm, you really don't know how big that tank farm is when you're on the road driving past it, right? Like, where's the tank farm? It's in this shot. You just don't see it. Looks like up at the top of the tower, the first tower there, they've unfurled a huge American flag, as they do on occasions. And apparently a party in Mega Bay 2. <laughs> Some lasers shooting out from the side. I... <laughs> It was going to be offices, it was going to be this, that, the other, and then they just turned it into sort of a dance club. But moving on, this is over at Massey's, actually, and it looks like uh, these are some booster parts being moved around. Really tough to see anything happening in that clip, honestly. Yeah, it happens. Just be advised that there's uh, parts being unloaded at Massey's. Another shot back over at the Rocket Garden. There's Booster 4's aft section. Oh, look, you can actually see the HLS nose cone. Air quotes, HLS nose cone in the background of that shot. Rewind it if you missed it. There's the cladding on the side of the park. I really want to see what happens with this. Are they going to make it spell something? Is it going to have something else on the outside of those braces, stringers? Maybe they're just practicing making stringers. But now you can see how high up that uh, scaffolding has gone there. Still haven't closed in the glass on the connector between the office building and the star factory here. We're going on some of the structure still, it looks like. Another one of the Flight 5 full stack. Booster 12, ship 30. Where's the tank farm? I think it was off on the side in that angle, but... I'm glad to see they put that door back on. That door got blown into the, uh, the dunes. Like, hundreds of yards of way from the... OLM in one of the previous launches, and then it was like, can't be the same door, because that door was all bent like a steel battleship door was bent like crazy, having been blown off the OLM. Looks like that's a drilling rig. Drilling down over at the tank farm. Maybe putting in some big pillars or uh, piers or something like that. Look at the sunset from Mary here. Little chopstick movements too. How cool is that? That was that was almost like a, a video ender. Like you could have ended the video with it fading to black there, but see the aerostat in the corner there. Zooming in on the chopsticks up at the top of the ship. Not a lot of work. You don't see a bunch of uh, lifts or anything like that around the chopsticks now. Got some stairs going under tower two. It was the little, the small crane down there at the base of the tower. They were lifting up some stairs. Okay, we're tracking this. Little gray 
piece of structure they needed to move up there. Cool, I guess. <laughs> hey, folks. Remember, if you want to just watch the ambient audio track, always remember you can change that over. Just click on the gear and switch audio tracks. Big thanks to Mary, Jack, and all the folks at Starbase Live. Thomas, thanks for editing it. I'm Das. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.